The European Union supports the territorial integrity, sovereignty and independence of Azerbaijan. High representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Federica Mogherini said at a press conference after a meeting with Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Elmer Mamadyarov. European Union and its member states have not recognized Nagorno-Karabakh. The, the status quo, we believe, is unsustainable and the peaceful resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict remains for us a top priority. We continue to support the mediation efforts of the OSCE MIS Group co-chairs. The European Union calls for the in intensification of high-level talks towards peace. The conflict does not have a military solution and needs a political settlement in accordance with international law. According to her, Azerbaijan's accession to WTO will be a productive step. She noted that membership in the WTO is a step that provides a deeper economic integration. Moving forward in the WTO negotiations would be beneficial in this process, paving the way for an open and competitive business environment and further economic integration between the European Union and Azerbaijan. We agreed in general terms to strengthen our cooperation on uh, uh, the economic reforms that the the authorities of Azerbaijan uh, are putting in place to diversify the economy. Mangarin also said the implementation of the Southern Gas Corridor project envisaging Azerbaijani gas supply to Europe is vital for EU's energy strategy. Today I've addressed together with uh, President Aliyev and Commissioner Sevkovic the Southern Corridor Advisory Council, an initiative to which as European Union we attach a great value and it's more than energy diversification and EU energy security for us. I would like to thank Azerbaijan for having arranged and hosted uh, this uh, second uh, meeting uh, of the Advisory Council, because for us this is also about enlarging and deepening political, economic and social ties with all the partners involved in the project and building on a better regional connection. She said the talks in Baku focused on conformity of Azerbaijan's economy with the new realities when there are low oil prices on world markets. Magherini also said that Azerbaijan is an important strategic partner of the EU in the region. Magherini stressed the role that Azerbaijan plays as a bridge between cultures. I'm very pleased that Baku will be hosting the seventh global forum of the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations on the 25th-27th of April. And I'm also sure that Azerbaijan's contribution to the dialogue of cultures will be reflected in our future agreement because we believe that uh, the experience uh, and the nature of Azerbaijan society in this can be extremely valuable for Europe and for all. Azerbaijan has presented to the EU a strategic cooperation project. We have had discussions over this matter. Azerbaijan Foreign Minister Elmer Mamadyarov told the press conference. Mr. Mamadyarov said that during the meeting they discussed the preliminary steps to be taken for the work on the agreement project. Energy cooperation between the parties is growing. Azerbaijan's natural gas will be delivered to European markets in 2019. Minister also said that he gave information about the resolutions of international organizations on the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Azerbaijan is seeking to achieve a solution to this conflict soon. We don't believe this conflict is a frozen one. The European Union, along with the Minsk Group, is supposed to give an impetus so that we can move this conflict forward, the minister underscored. Bakhtar son of Ilkin Shafi of CBC.